There are three ways to enter data into the NFER Test Analysis tool. First, you will need to select the year group or class you would like to work with. And then, select the test paper you would like to enter data for. The first method for entering data is by pupil. This option allows you to enter each pupil's results for the test paper, one pupil at a time. You can select the pupil you would like to enter data for from the drop-down menu here. You can also navigate through pupils using the previous and next buttons. To start, enter the date the test was sat. If the assessment has multiple test papers, this will automatically populate the date for all papers. You can then manually enter the scores by typing them into the boxes. The maximum score available for each question is shown in the right hand column. You can move through the boxes by pressing the down arrow, the tab key or the return key. You can also use the set all correct or the set all incorrect buttons which will automatically populate the boxes with the highest or lowest available scores for each question. You are then able to make changes to the scores that have been populated. Remember to save your data regularly. To move on you can change test papers or move on to the next pupil. The next data entry option is to enter by question. This method allows you to enter all marks for all of your pupils for one question before moving on to the next. The maximum score for each question is shown in the top row along with the question number. Again, you will need to enter the date the test was sat first. You can then enter data into the boxes, moving through them using the tab key, enter key or directional arrows. The tab key will also take you from the last box in one column to the first box in the next, so you can continue on to the next question. You can set all pupils to the maximum or minimum score for each question by using the numbered buttons at the top of the column. When finished, save your data, then you can change test paper here, or select a new assessment from here. The final option for inputting data is to enter total score. In here you can type each pupil's total score for the test paper. This is a quicker way of putting in scores, however you will not be able to access the question level analysis or program of study reports if you are not entering item level data. Inputting a total score will overwrite any item level data held. Similarly, entering item level data where you have a total score will overwrite the total score. Please go to our support page for further help using the NFER test analysis tool and to access more videos.